Hello everyone, I'm geologist Philip Ong. In today's quick take, we're going to show you guys what happened over the last two and a half days when the lava flow coming out of the west vent was greatly reduced. The lava lake formed a crust, it's been resurfacing itself, and so we'll show you guys that here right now. We have on the top panel the S1 cam from the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, USGS, and on the bottom we have the F1 cam. Here is our west vent where the lava is coming out in both locations. So this upper image is a view from the south, with north being more in that direction, and this lower camera, north is more in that direction. Okay, let's play it for you guys. We have it lined up here. So you can see at the beginning of the, of the sequence, while the natural pressure cycle drop was already happening, we have a waning flow. And then eventually it stops coming out, we see the lava lake resurfacing in various areas, and more pulses of lava coming out of that west vent. So there are some lava flows going on top of the crust, perhaps, but also there is a resurfacing of the whole lava crust once in a while, as we've seen in videos before. In this video from the USGS, we see lava coming up through the crust and forming new bits of crust, first in the daytime and now at night. This is 10 times speed, so a lot slower than the time lapses we've been showing you guys so far. Here another 20 times speed from January 8th this year. You guys can see on a large scale lava coming from various directions, breaking the older crust as a younger hotter lava comes comes to replace it and then for, uh, solidifies to form its own crust. You can see that after a sequence of the whole crust propagating all the way across, it'll stay still and thicken until the next the next overturning event comes. This is all happening because of a drop in pressure. This is our ground tilt. So we have here in the left when the time lapse actually began and when it ended. You can see the pressure is coming back up already since this event already started a temporary natural pressure cycle of the volcano. We'll look at just the thermal camera by itself now. And so you can see early on we had that active side vent and as it died off, so eventually did that main vent. And we kind of see now that overturning process happening, perhaps induced by lava flows coming out of that west vent and on top of the crust and breaking the crust and propagating the crust, overturning all the way across. Here we see it once again in the S1 cam viewed from the south. There was our side vent. Here's our main west vent. You can kind of see the crust is solidifying and not moving for large stretches of time. And then it kind of will lurch forward as it overturns. You know, see when we have a big breakout, it'll kind of induce uh, overturning all the way around the backside of the central big island over here. One last time I'll show it for you guys without drawing on it. You can see the comparison of the waning of the flow, the overturning of the crustal surface and a resumption of flow towards the end of the sequence here. Thank you guys for watching.